Hello Photosome fans, this is attempt number two at this video. Um, the reason I'm telling you that is because I just want to uh, have a quick little insert. Um, I did try to record this video with a 2 gigabyte class 4 card and about maybe a minute and a half in it stopped. Um, I know a lot of people sometimes will just go and pick up cards anywhere. Just to let you know if you are going to try and record HD video, especially on something like this Nikon 5100 or a Sony A55 or really anything that records video nowadays because you're going to be shooting at full HD resolution a 2 gig or I mean um, a class 4 or a class 2 or even a class 6 really is not going to cut it um, I'd say probably a class 10 or anything higher than that was what you're going to really need um, if you're going to be shooting anything more than you know two minutes long uh, so you know just want to give you that um, as of today's video I want to show you guys um, the difference between a fisheye adapter and a fisheye lens. Um, I've had a lot of people asking us questions on our YouTube page um, with our different videos as far as our Nikon fisheye lens and our Bauer and a couple other fisheye adapters that we have up for videos. Um, people are really kind of confused as far as the difference between a fisheye adapter and a fisheye lens. So today I'm going to show you the difference and uh, hopefully we'll learn something. First off, the actual fisheye lens. These are actual lenses, so they're not something that's going to be an accessory to a lens you already have. This is going to be its own lens. It's going to attach just like your regular lens. Um, you know, like I said, it is a fisheye lens itself. You will notice it kind of has almost like this nice little ridge here. Get it a little bit closer. Almost has like this ridge here. And also sometimes the lens itself is a little bubble, depending on... Depending on um, how much of a fisheye effect the lens is going to have. This is Nikon's own 10.5 millimeter. There you go, sorry about that. Um, this is made for DX lenses, so this will work just fine on a Nikon D5100 or 3100 or 5000, whatever it happens that you have. Um, so this is, like I said, the actual lens. These are probably going to retail anywhere from six to seven hundred dollars, maybe even more, maybe a little bit less, depending on where you get it and you know if you bought it new or not. This is for someone who doesn't really want to go and put out that much money. This is a fisheye adapter. This is the Bauer 0.16x digital super fisheye wide lens. As so you can see, it has here nice wide open, nice piece of glass. This part right here, you could actually come with different rings. This actually screws off. And this is what lets you go and screw on to different sizes of lenses. Right now it's set up for 52 millimeter because we're going to put it onto our uh, 1855, you know, standard kit lens. But if you have, let's say, a Tamron 18 to 270, the new one, um, there is a 62 millimeter um, version of this little filter here. So, you know, even if you have a couple different lenses, uh, for a lot of them it will work. Now, if you have, let's say, a 10 to 24, you know, which is a 72 millimeter opening, you're not going to be able to use this, but that's a wide enough, uh, you know, lens anyway already. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shoot a video with each of these uh, so you can see the difference, if any. Um, you know, and we'll see which one does better or not, or, you know. Maybe you guys save yourself some money and get an adapter. Maybe you really want that uh, fisheye lens. All right, part two and three. And welcome to part two. Now we are using the fisheye lens, the uh, 10 mil 10.5 millimeter. And the one thing I like about this lens, it is a 2.8, so it's nice and bright. Um, we can see the kind of nice rounded kind of edge to it. Now this lens, because it is a fixed lens, you're not going to be able to zoom in and out. So what you see is what you get. So this is the kind of effect you're going to have at all times. I like the nice rounded edges that you see up here. And you'll see here, kind of people coming, shrinking and getting taller, things like that. It's kind of neat. Let's get nice and up close and personal to something. You know what? Hold on. We're going to disconnect for a second.
kind of a neat look to it. There's a tripod. Woo, tripod. A little dark there. All right, let's try what this can do up like on a wall or something. Interesting little effect. Okay. We're gonna bring this back to base. Click. Okay. All right, so now that you've seen what this can do, now we'll take out the um, fisheye adapter. And like I said, that's gonna be on our 1855. Um, good thing is that one can zoom in and out, which would be neat, and you'll see why. Um, also, but the bad thing is, is that you're now at the slavery of whatever the lens that you have as far as its aperture. Um, where this one's a nice 2.8, that 1855 is only going to be a 3.5 to 5.6. So let's see what happens. Okay, here we are at part three using the uh, fisheye adapter from Bauer. Uh, just in case anyone was trying to um, notice the differences, uh, I have been using a directional mic this entire time. But I just switched. I had the direction mic kind of right in front of my face, and now I have it um, hooked onto the hot shoe again. So the audio should, between part two and part three, should sound a little bit different. Um, like I said, this is the Bauer fisheye adapter. So if you're trying to get that nice fisheye effect, okay. so you can hear, see here kind of the slope to it, slope to it, slope to it. There you go. And if you want to get a little bit wider, right now, I'm at 45 millimeters. Let's go a little bit wider, wider, wider. Here's the thing with this adapter though, is that eventually you're gonna to get to a point where you're gonna get vignetting. That's when you see the little, all the way up here, you see the vignetting. And then you're gonna to get to a point where you get this on a fisheye adapter. That's a full 18 millimeters. Now to me, that's actually kind of neat. It gives you kind of almost a full circle look of, an, of a fisheye, or you know, quote unquote, a real fisheye, what it's supposed to be. Well, let's go back. And a little bit of vignetting is fine. No problems there. But you see for the most, most part in the center, you're getting the same kind of effect, the same look. We are at F5, by the way, right now, so just in case you're seeing a little bit of a difference, maybe a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, you know. Let's see if I could dial this down. Nope, sorry. Anyway, the main differences that people are going to tell you about using a fisheye adapter versus a fisheye lens is, you see right up here, see how it's very blurry along the edges, over here, where'd my finger go, over here, around here you're gonna notice your edges are very blurry the center is gonna be nice and crisp well, maybe not my finger but you know that's that's the basic idea but around the edges is where you're gonna see a difference so you know that's where the quality comes to mind that's where you're gonna see a difference as far as the quality between paying a six or seven hundred dollars for a lens or getting the adapter now you know, I, I used to do it myself, some skate videos. Um, this might be something good for a skate video because God forbid someone, you know, misses their uh, kickflip or, you know, bails and hits your camera. You know, that skateboard hits a six, $700 lens, you're really not gonna be happy. Where, you know, it hits a $100 adapter, you know, it's not gonna hurt as bad. Um, you know, so this might be the way to go for something like that. I'm gonna do a couple different tests that I did last time. We're gonna take it off the adapter. Well, oh, tripod here. Let's get nice and close. That's a cool effect to me. That looks pretty neat. By the way, um, on the other fisheye lens, um, I did realize it's an AFS lens. So it will not autofocus on the new like 5100 or 3100. So I apologize for that wrong information there. There we go. Same test. Ooh, look. Photo summit. Let's make it round. Ooh. Okay. Thanks a lot.
from the foot of summit.